my grandmother Golasso's marinated green bean salad. Whenever I make this recipe, I think of the fun times I had with her in the kitchen, just cleaning beans. And to do that, you just want to take the little tip off each end. You can do that with a knife or I just do it with my fingers. So to do the, the beans, first of all, you want to cook them in plenty of boiling water. That's essential. And you never want to put a cover on the beans. And my beans are cooked, and so now we need to take them out. So I'm going to take them right out of the water into just a dish because we're going to make a marinade for these. And the trick to having these taste really good is to make sure that you do this while the beans are still warm. So use a scoop to get them out of the pot. And they also smell wonderful. You know when green beans are cooked not only by just looking at them, but also the smell. That's part of cooking. And my husband and I had so much fun putting in all of those beans and, of course, all of that lattice work that they had to climb up onto in order for them to grow properly. So you want about a pound of green beans for this recipe. So there they are, and look at how beautiful they stay. So now we can make the marinade, and for that, it's very simple. Italian cooking is all about using great, simple ingredients and not keeping, not being too complicated. So a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in a dish. And then to that, I like to add a couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar, or you could use lemon juice if you wanted to. I always give this a little pinch of sugar because Nona Galasso, that was my mother's mother, always added a pinch of sugar to things that she cooked. That's a little trick that I use today, too. And some salt, some fine sea salt, and a little bit of coarse black pepper. And then, of course, she added garlic. Now, here's my new nifty trick for getting minced garlic, instead of fooling with the papers. You see how garlic has a very thin paper over it. I just take a zester and grate it just like that. You see, the paper stays right on top, but I get a lot of nice garlic underneath. I just tap, and in it goes right into the dish. So this is wonderful. I'm really proud of that I found out about this all by myself. So I just tap it in. That's plenty. And you see, the paper is still there. It stays behind. So we have a little garlic. I'm going to give that just a little bit of a mix here. And now, we can put that over the green beans. Oh, I want to add a few onions. I forgot about that. A few red onions. Now, if you don't like red onions, you can leave this out. But I like this because it adds just a little bit of color. Sometimes I add some olives, oil-cured olives to this, or I'll add chickpeas. You could use chickpeas from a can. Whatever you like. And now, we put this right over the beans. Just like that. Get all of that marinade on there. And if you're going to be making this for company, you want to make sure that you do this several hours ahead of time. You could also do it the day before and put it in the refrigerator, but then you want to take it out and let it come to room temperature. So I just mix this up, and I wish you could smell this. It's wonderful. And it just sings to me a freshness from the garden. Then when you have it like that, I like to take some mint and just add that, because that, that really reminds me of Nona Galasso, who loved to put mint with green beans. And I'll tell you, when I was a kid and we had green beans from the garden, my grandmother went out and she took not a bushel out with her to collect them, but her apron. She would just, that was, that's my image of her, of getting green beans out of the garden, just having her apron full of green beans that she brought into the house and then put on the kitchen table in a huge look like a mountain of green beans to me. And then I would sit there with her, and we would snap off the ends. So Nona, this is for you. So in goes the mint. And I would put the mint in just before you're ready to serve it, so that the mint does not turn uh, color. Sometimes it gets dark because of the acid of the, uh, of the wine vinegar. So that's all there is to making Nona's green bean salad.